Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program, where we attempt to do an RCS-only mission to the moon and back. And we succeed, because unfortunately, as you will have read in the title of this video, version 0.18 has ruined this mission. Well, no. I mean, to be truthful, it's made this mission so much easier, which has ruined the challenge of doing the mission. I was expecting to have to make some massive, wacky, wonky contraption in a very Kerbal nature in order to get this to work, and instead, two fuel tanks and 16 thrusters. Oh, that's it. You can, get to the, you can get to the moon and back using that. If you look at the top right, top right at the resources section, you can see we've used 36 out of 50 litres of fuel, or tons of fuel, I'm not sure if it's volume or mass, but um, yeah, that's, that's not an awful lot, is it? No, no indeed. Over 1,000 meters per second, we haven't even used half yet, and we are easily going to get into orbit with this, we're going to easily transfer to the moon, we're going to easily land, and we're going to easily get back. It really was a very easy mission for me, and as a result, it's sped up to four times speed, because easy missions are, unless it's about something really interesting, which this isn't, it's a moon landing, which I've done hundreds of times before, but um, unless it's something really interesting, it's hard to do a commentary, a post-commentary of it. It's hard to do a live commentary of it. It's probably more hard to do a live commentary of it, actually. But yeah, here we are, getting into orbit. Chosen a 75 kilometer orbit for fuel's sake, even though I could have done probably any orbital height and still completed the mission. Here we go, burning for the moon. Burning for the moon indeed. It's very easy. Very easy. I keep on saying that over and over again. You can see there's actually a space station orbiting the moon right now, which is um, my first test of getting, uh, of moving a space station from one body to another using a Rockmax massive engine. And the test went well. A few things I learned from it, I'm not going to go into detail here, but um, you definitely need to make sure your station is perfectly symmetrical the around the axis of your center engine that you're using to thrust with you've got to have the space station so symmetrical otherwise i had to end up running it at one third speed because it was maybe i don't know a few tons off in each direction which makes a big difference and i wouldn't expect it to have done any other the reason i made it a few tons difference was so that i could test how big how massive the effect of it was but anyway more videos coming on that in the future. This video is about RCS to the moon and back. So what I'm doing here is disabling every other port linear RCS. So we're down to eight for final final stage of the approach. And then we'll actually slow down completely, go back up a little to give us more time to disable four more. So we are only running on four at the moment. And we still manage to land at under three meters per second, which is very, very good. <laughs> I was going to say easy again. I have some weird obsession with saying easy. I don't know what it is. But here we are. This re-enabling them all so we can get back quickly and easily. <laughs> um, we still have over our fuel. Look. No, no. We just have under half our fuel. Um, we are on 23 out of 50. Nearly 23 out of 50. Um, which is so very, very high. <laughs> we could probably have done this with one tank because the reduce of drag and weight would have compensated for lack of fuel. But here we go. Time warping away from the moon, we've successfully got ourselves into the atmosphere of Kerbin, and now we're going to let the atmosphere slow us down and drag us to a halt. Well, I mean, the atmosphere, Harvey, doesn't actually drag you to a halt, Harvey. It it really doesn't. That, that's your altitude. Yeah, you need to, you need to burn, right? right now. Oh, would you look at that? We, we failed the mission. I guess we're going to have to do this mission again as soon as point 18 is fixed. Yeah. <laughs> so, another failed mission on the Hot Gaming channel. Thanks very much for watching the video, guys. If you liked the video, then please do like the video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.